Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. Looking at a draft of our latest clock face revision. I recently got this question from a viewer who says, I am homebound and cannot get out to observe the moon. Could you tell me how to get Yah's calendar so I can keep his Sabbaths and feasts? I am 82 years old and have been trying my best to follow Yah's commands. And I'm so glad to find you on YouTube. And it took me a while to respond to this question. How can he or she keep up with the sacred Sabbath days when they are homebound and can't get out to look at the moon every month? And even though I tried to come up with another solution, the only response that I could come up with is that either they need a Levitical priest, someone who will actively report out to them every month, or they're going to simply have to get the celestial clock calendar. Now, although I am thankful that our father allowed me to play a part in the invention of this celestial clock calendar earlier this year, you've probably noticed that I've been a bit standoffish when it comes to this clock calendar. Frankly, because monetary income means nothing to me these days. Me and the golden calf just don't get along. But now after getting so many questions like this, how can people keep up with the Celestials without being able to see the moon for themselves? This is the only solution I could come up with. Frankly, this is going to be one of the only ways you could do it without a priest or a Levite to look out for you. Somebody that will report every month. So here in the last couple of days, I've actually started working on the clock calendar a little bit more as it needed a new revision to the faceplate. So this is what I've come up with so far for the next revision. It's not finalized yet, but anybody who orders a clock from now on will have the option to get the first revision, but they'll probably end up with this one here, which I think is a lot better. It's a lot clearer as we were able to get the resolution up since the last revision, and it has a lot more information in it. But anyway, you can check those out at coachingafight.shop. What I want to just show you today is something that I learned from this clock. I've actually learned a lot since we invented and have been producing these clocks here at my home. But one thing that was made clear yesterday as I was working on this revision is the place that Hanukkah holds on this sacred calendar. Now, I've been having thoughts for a while how the spring feasts and the fall feasts tend to mirror each other. Like for instance, how you have a two week festival in the fall called Tabernacles, just like you have a two week festival in the spring, which is called Unleavened Bread. Well, in the fall, you have Atonement Day on the 10th day of the month. And to mirror that in the spring, you have the selection of the lamb on the 10th day of the first month. And just like you have the memorial of blowing of trumpets that falls on the first day of the seventh month, you have a temple cleansing process that starts on the first day of the first month. So it's kind of like those dates mirror each other. Now, one of the reasons why I thought on this is how the book of Enoch is written. I owe this book credit for the understanding of how the celestial clock calendar works. But anyway, in this book, we're told that the way to determine the last day of the year is when the days and the nights are equal. That is actually the 364th day of the year. The thing about it, those in the southern hemisphere like Australia's days are opposite. You see how up here in the previous verses, how it's saying that the day length is getting longer until the 364th day in which they're made equal. Well, in the Southern Hemisphere, like Australia, in March, their days are getting shorter. So the head of their year is not in March, but actually in September. You see over here at timeanddate.com for Sydney in the month of September. When you look down here, at around what we call the fall equinox, you see that their days are getting longer, all while our days are getting shorter. So while they are celebrating their fall festivals, we're celebrating our spring festivals. And while we're doing the Feast of Tabernacles, 
they're doing Passover. Completely opposite. So then I got to thinking, if those holy days, which actually mirror each other, are being celebrated in different hemispheres, then what about the other holy day of Pentecost, which falls in the middle of the third month? I was always thinking that there would have to be an equivalent to it if what I believe was true, that the spring feast mirror the fall feast. But it's only till now, looking at this new clock revision, that I actually see what it is. And it's absolutely Hanukkah. Hanukkah, which falls in the ninth month, would be the mirror image of the Feast of Weeks in the third month. So then it's like a pattern starts to emerge where you have these two feast days in the first and the seventh month and then feast days in the third and the ninth month. Now we can start looking for equivalencies that go on in the fifth and the eleventh month. But we'll save that for another video. I just wanted to show you how the Feast of Hanukkah is like the Falls version of Pentecost or the Feast of Weeks. Some even try to say that the Feast of Weeks is actually a week long celebration, which after looking at this, it makes sense. You have an eight day celebration in the seventh month, an eight day celebration in the first month, if you include Passover or first fruits, then you have an eight day celebration in the ninth month with Hanukkah. So maybe what those guys are saying that Pentecost is supposed to be a week long celebration is actually correct. Well, we'll save that for another video too. So make sure you have your subscription button pushed. Go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, check us out at coachingafight.shop. This clock is turning out to be the most significant learning aid when it comes to how our Father's sacred calendar works, which we already know is extremely significant. Well, this clock can probably help you out. If you have any more questions, just put them in the comment section and I'll see you there.